Let's get started. So this is a story of a 16-year-old girl. And uh, this 16-year-old girl uh, have one day goes to her parents, goes to mom and dad. Mom, dad, can you please tell me how to be successful, uh, how to be happy? I want to be successful and I want to be happy. I want to be respected. I want to be rewarded. I want to be recognized. Mom, dad said, wow, wonderful questions. In fact, these questions have come in at the right time. This is the right time for asking such wonderful questions. You're 16 year old and uh, it's life is going to take a different journey. I, we have an idea for you. Uh, then the parents, father, mother, take her and show her a hilltop. To show her a hilltop, is it on the hilltop? Do you see? There's a very large, there's a kind of a mini palace. Okay. In that mini palace lives a successful person. Lives a guru. Lives a person who is happy. Everybody goes to him. He is intelligent, smart, successful, rewards, recognized. Everybody, a lot of people go and meet this person. This person, we all call him with lots of love and lot of respect as Guruji. Okay. So go and meet Guruji. Guruji should be able to give you the answers and all that. So this young girl was excited. She obviously wants to be happy, successful. He wants to get the best to the best in the world. And she goes and she was like, wow, this is really nice. And when they ask at this thing, I want to meet Guruji. So the security person, the manager or the lobby manager says, hey, it's here. Uh, in fact, the, you see in the adjacent hall, there is, he's sitting there and there were about some 30, 40 people. And a kind of a satsang was going on. There was this discourse which was going on. And people are asking variety of questions. I have this challenge, I have that challenge on questions on relationship and all the other things. And uh, Guruji was answering each and every one of them with patience. And he was answering them with clarity and all that. The girl was impressed. Girl's turn came. The girl asked, uh, Guruji, I want to be successful. I want to be happy. And these are my, this, I want to be respected, rewarded. These are the things that I'm looking forward to. Then uh, the Guruji says, wow, this is really nice. A young girl like you. In fact, there are many who do not ask the right questions. You're asking the right questions. And in fact, you're asking at the right age. Wonderful, wonderful. But can you do one thing? Before I answer you this question, uh, did you take a look at this palace? Did you look at the other things and all other things? She says, uh, no, Guruji, I didn't uh, I'll look for all of them. Say, Would you be interested in going and taking a look at all these things, finding out, in fact, I've got this place has got a lot of wonderful things from all parts of the world. Lots of things are there from different parts of the girl was excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. Okay, go ahead and uh, take a quick tour and come back. There is one thing that you need to do. I'm giving you one spoon. In this, I'm putting some oil. I'm putting a bit of oil and what you need to do it is make sure this oil should not spill. Take a look around. Come back without spilling the oil from the spoon. The girl said, hey, well, wonderful. No issues. Chalo karte. Let's do this. And she goes and she takes about 20-30 minutes. Comes back 30 minutes later and the Guruji will ask, hey, so what and all you saw? The Guruji, the girl said, no, I couldn't see anything. Why you did not see that uh, wonderful garden where there are uh, flowers from different parts of the world? No, no, no. Why? I had to take care of this uh, oil. Otherwise, the oil will spill, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, you did not see the chandelier. There was, there was a chandelier we got from Persia. Did you not see that? No, I didn't see. D come on. What is this? I was focusing on this. And okay. Did you see the library? In that library, there is one book, which is 600-year-old book. Did you not see that 600-year-old? No, no, sorry, Guruji, I did not. Okay, do one thing. You once again go and take a close look. There are wonderful things and all. The girl went with excitement, came back, and uh, the Guruji asked her again. This time again, she had taken about half an hour, 45 minutes. Took slightly little longer. 45 minutes and she was back and she was coming and saying, Guruji, yeah, there is this wonderful chandelier. 
yeah i saw the library in fact i like the stairs which is going round and round and round beautiful it was the ceiling then the architecture then the interior designing and uh, so beautiful thing i like the artwork there was some paintings i saw wonderful great 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 very nice you liked all of them hey by the way where is the oil the the, the say the girl looks oh what oil but if that was your job that was one thing i wanted to tell you that you keep an eye on that where is that oh it has spilled it spilled oh, i'm very sorry guruji i'm very very sorry guruji i'm not sure i have no idea when it got him spilled i have no idea when it got spilled and all that so my dear girl my dear child the answer is in this what did you learn the girl has a moment of reflection she reflects for a little while and she realizes yes now i know the secret of happiness secret of success secrets of everything how to be rewarded recognized how to be respected fun story simple story what did we learn coach yes coach uh, if they have given for example the guruji gave a job to the girl to uh, hold the oil in the spoon right and not leave it not let it spill and he also gave her a task to like take a tour around the place she did it the first time but she couldn't like see the place she did it the second time but she forgot about the oil so just because you get another job doesn't mean that you li- leave the first one you you doesn't mean that you get distracted from the first one okay wonderful so i uh, you be focused on your main job correct yeah want to say do not get distracted correct lovely mm-hmm. anybody else when we are focused on the goal on the toil when she was focused she couldn't see anything else so if the total concentration is on the goal and the target then the distractions will not be uh, able to i mean uh, they they'll not be uh, more this thing on us so we if the total focus should be on the goal true wonderful total focus should be on the goal great Riti, the story was dedicated on you. You want to share something? Bhuvnesh, Ekansha coach, Ekta coach. Kaitri, Sashikala ji, who is this Jeevu? Jeevu. Okay, great. Yogit, Yash, if you both can sit, it'll be really nice. Participation. Ah, Kandan, participation. Participation. Come on. All answers are answers. Start. don't lose the opportunity don't lose the opportunity okay great why why do you say that what opportunity did she lose or what opportunity in what what is the context i did not understand that sashikala ji uh, ji i was off the way in the story <laughs> but <laughs> to be very honest but others were saying na no, i relate something <laughs> ah yeah so what is the listen the full story <laughs> yes. yes right you are right come on guys anybody more something more
there may be distractions but take up one thing do that thing well nice thank you so much raghavan sir there will be there not maybe there will be definitely distraction but you take up that one thing you do it well so riti what is your job what is that you should be focusing when you are 16 year old as coach as a 16 year old what should be that one job that you should be focusing on study yes you know the answer wonderful yes studying learning educating gathering knowledge towards a goal towards a success isn't it yeah you know what should be yours yash yogit ekarsha coach ekta coach what should be yours bhuvnesh what should be yours kannan ungaloda focus edile irukno what you should be coach man should be on my goal of becoming an astronaut yeah but is it there are you working towards it on a daily basis did you do a goal visualization today in the morning looking at your uh, this thing your visualization your you did that today morning you did that you did your goal meditation i'm doing it every morning i'm doing it every morning evening 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 also i do it wonderful lovely is where your focus goes your energy flows and it's all about that riti it's all about that if you focus on your purpose at that particular moment at that time it's very simple you can get distracted and lose focus on that particular spoon that was her key job correct that was she had to do it you will be tempted many number of times isn't it is there there is a world full of tons of temptation that is the reason why people find it very hard but there are a few people relentlessly anything happens they do not care about any other thing correct is they don't care about anything they know at that particular point what are they supposed to do isn't it yeah all of you know some people like that in your life isn't it correct yes ekansha coach you are talking about yashwant bade papa correct isn't it at that particular point of time that was the only thing that person was eating living sleeping breathing that only isn't it correct ha ah, manoj kumar sharma correct isn't it you guys remember which which movie i'm talking about priti 12th film yeah today does this man has happiness success everything respect reward recognition everything he has yes sir. but at that particular moment of time what was his only one number one thing study 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 yes yeah even in he worked hard he had to protect his family also yes least interested about anything correct yukta all of us have somebody or the other in our life and everything else as you see palace respect rewards this man was completely focused at one particular point of time for a very good duration of time was completely focused in working on whatever they wanted to build and once it builds it continues to keep growing isn't it correct yeah after that everything keeps happening but if you lose this thing if you lose your focus if you lose into concentration or if you get distracted what happens as simple i'll give you guys another metaphor correct ekta coach i'll give you guys another metaphor another one thing when we are driving slowly correct yukta when i am into pleasure driving i'm driving my car and i'm driving and i'm pleasure i'll be looking at hey, wow so nice wonderful is this apartment when did this come i never saw hey this is really really nice wow there are ducks in the pond and all the other things but when my focus is there when i want to go fast i want to achieve things fast do you think i can afford to look anywhere can i afford to look anywhere so ekta coach you want to become successful rich happy quickly or slowly quickly coach then you have to hit the gas when you drive 
correct ekta when you ride your bike you have to go fast you have to be focused the front you cannot keep seeing front and back correct isn't it wow i didn't see this building accident correct as simple as that so if you are wanting to go fast and wanting to move you have to be laser sharp focus on that one thing that you want otherwise you lose focus and then we don't achieve so the secret of success the secret of this is be focused be disciplined and that comes with self wonderful did you guys all enjoy the story fabulous so riti from now onwards the camera should not move here it has to be kept from morning yes yogit aap log bhi ek jagah fix kar do fix up one particular place bhuvnesh fix up one particular place like how ekta coach ek kar chuko they have a place they have kept it there i have a place correct let's keep keep it there and do the exercise along with it correct riti is that possible ho sakta hai tumse ab bahut zyada pareshani nahi hai na yeah morning rituals be focused it gives you the fuel and the energy to be getting the best from the day it has everything that it needs to keep you focused if you do this one part sincerely your rest of the day will keep you completely focused hmm yes great now let's get started with quick meditation sit in vajrasana alternate nasal breathing left in right out right in left out as to be breathing six of them hum 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 ha ha let's start with energizer we'll do one round of 30 take it slow take it to medium high speed high energy high intensity let's begin relax 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 lock it out let's begin with gratitude yes thank yourself thank yourself that you believe in focus thank yourself that you believe in discipline you believe in focusing on only on only what is that needed at that particular moment of time thank yourself for that thank you thank you thank you so much thank you yourself from head to toe and toe to head thank you so much yes thank all the external part of the body thank all the internal part of the body thank you so much thank you heart 
thank you mind you have such a wonderful mind thank you to lovely souls thank you dad thank you mom for giving me this power of focus you making me the person that i am today disciplined thank all our gurus yes thank all our gurujis all our masters all our trainers all our coaches everybody who have been relentlessly working helping us get that discipline get that awareness thank you thank you thank you so much thank our family members thank you aastha thank you tej so blessed are we both thank you so much as i can thank thank uh thank all the people we know all the relatives everybody friends relatives everybody thank you so much the entire humanity thank you mother nature thank you god thank you almighty thank you supreme soul supreme intelligence for giving me this blessed soul a soul with a purpose yes soul with a why soul with a wonderful wonderful life thank you so much thank you god thank you almighty now that we have completed gratitude visualize a beam of white light a blessing which is kind of coming from the universe enters our head removes all the negativity removes all the distractions as it enters our face our shoulders our chest our abdomen our thighs our calf muscles head to toe toe to head we are completely revitalized reenergized revitalized yes all the toxins are leaving our body we are being healthy we are becoming happy we are becoming powerful thank you thank you thank you so much this white light to stay with us for the next 24 hours to tomorrow morning which will help us guide us motivate us push us to achieve our real purpose in life thank you thank you thank you so much now that we have received the blessings it's now time to visualize our goals our purpose what are we truly here for what why do we walk this planet yes start visualizing our goals our purpose on a daily basis keeps us focused keeps us on track helps us get the maximum value from our life yes makes us purposeful let go of your hands let's do a declaration i am disciplined i'm focused i'm born to win i'm born to lead i'm amazing i'm strong i'm powerful i'm lovable i'm capable i'm valuable I am a superb human. One, two, three, four, wow, whoosh! Wow, wonderful energy. Rub your hands. Place it on your eyes. Last one. Slowly open your eyes and welcome an amazing day in your life. So live purposefully, live powerfully. You are a superb human. Yukta, you still there? I was hoping that you speak today, Sunday. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Hello everybody my name is Dr Sachin and I am a life coach I use games activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life continue to watch our videos share them subscribe to our channel and please do comment it help us and inspire us to make more good content like this thank you so much for watching our channel also do visit our website thank you so much